Shooting accessories can be relatively straightforward, but there's a few things that might help out. Here we've got a suede shoe. You can see there's lots of fingerprints on here. Good idea to get a, a stiff brush like this and just push all the suede into one direction. What that does is it stops all the fingerprints and marks showing up in the photograph. So the light reflects off the surface of the shoe in exactly the same way each time. Obviously, lace up your shoe nice and neat. It may also need some stuffing. Now the key thing here is to give the shoe some shape, but not to overstuff it. But we want to be able to hold this tongue in position uh, and really fill out the shoe as if it has a foot in there. So that looks pretty nice now. Again, I've had my fingers on it, so I'm just going to give it another brush. Any little marks on here can also be removed. There we go, nice and neat. Same with the other shoe. I'm going to brush in the same direction as the other shoe. Now, because I'm going to be seeing the inside of this shoe for this first shot, I'm going to brush the inside as well. The back shoe is quite nice, about uh, 90 degrees. For, this, for the front shoe, I want to give that more of an angle, so about 45 degrees. What I want to see is the distance uh, between the two shoes is not too great, but enough to make the definition between the front shoe and the back shoe. If something's come out of a box, it might need a bit of a, a bit more preparation sometimes. I'm going to just bring this back shoe in a little bit to join it. So the focus point is somewhere in the middle here, and then this will become a little bit sharper as well. It's quite a deep shot. So we need to have enough depth of field to get both things in focus. So there we've got our pair. I'm going to do a back detail of this one. Just making sure that my suede is looking lovely. So again, this tab is not really playing ball with us, so we've got to give it a bit of a bend. And I'm going to just pull the tongue up slightly. There we go. So that's our back shot. We want to do that profile shot, so 90 degrees to camera. Again, just sort my suede out. Got some flex here on the rubber. I'm going to clean off. There we go. That's a lovely, nice profile shot. Let's go for the inside now. Same thing. Prepare the suede. Look for any dust and dirt on the rubber. For this shoe as well, I might just do a single shoe and shoot sort of three quarters on so we can really see it, the detail down the side. Just pull the tongue up a bit and I'm going to shift my lighting off to the side. Another option to add a bit more of a luxurious feel is to have a nice reflection at the bottom. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Slide in a surface, in this case I'm using white, and something reflective like this piece of uh, acrylic. What I'm going to do is just place the shoe back on there and I'm going to drop my exposure down just a touch. What we get now is a nice drop reflection of that shoe which we can fade out if we need to crop at a certain level and it just adds a bit of luxury to the bottom of the shoe. We could just do a toe shot quickly like that. So what I'm after is only this, this bit here. So I might use the other shoe to just prop it up in place. I'm going to crop out the bottom of the other shoe so that's not going to be an issue. So that's a quick look at some key angles for shooting footwear. As you can see, pretty simple, um, but just pay attention to the details, making sure that your suede is nicely aligned in the same direction, your laces are nice and neat, and yeah, just generally make them look desirable.